if not for nothing, I'm getting seven tattoos for my 27th birthday. And before you say it, I know that's crazy. It's not like it's going to be all at once or even all in the same month. And they're all fire and sentimental as shit. But I'm worried. Well, not worried. Concerned about one. It's this cross that I want. It's basic and thin. Sitting right in the middle of my chest. It was one of the first ones I knew I'd get. And I was about 100% sold. At least until this random Uber ride with this older black woman from West Baltimore that looked like every big grandma figure you've ever seen in a all black casted film. And of course she was woke, painfully woke, and had an unfamiliar perspective. So I was intrigued but skeptical, and a little worried she might be a cult leader. Because the only thing she wanted out of the ride, even more than a tip, was to convert me over to the religious belief in the Kemet. Which isn't exactly like Uber ride conversation, so I tried to write her off. Puffed up my accent and told her, you mean they were all guys, we were kings and queens bullshit? Try to shut her down, you know? I'm African lady, both parents. I don't really need a We Are The World ass history lesson. But she just coughed at me like she didn't give a fuck. And I tried to ignore her, but she wouldn't stop talking about it. And I'm too polite and confined spaces to lash out at complete strangers for next to no reason. So fuck it. I figured I'd hear her out, skeptical, still thinking her argument was flawed. But I listened. She recommended I read Erroneous Zones, The Power of Intention, and her proclaimed favorite, The Color of Law. I kept the titles in my iPhone notes to appease her. But I don't really plan on buying them shits. Not like I haven't heard all these stories before. It's just she was a little too determined never seeing someone. So set on being anti-Jesus. She credited a couple of religions with some original stories, but wouldn't even budge an inch on the Bible not having a ghostwriter. And yeah, I didn't agree, but I still felt her conviction. I met my ETA, hopped out, gave her a tip, then spent the rest of the day thinking about the ride. When the time comes though, I still doubt I'll end up getting an onk over a cross. But what a conversation, you know? Like a nightmare, a terrifying thought to live right and die old just to learn your whole life you've been worshiping wrong. Amen. How you, you, got it. How you pause this shit?